Hi, I'm Kaziah, and I'll be your guide as we set up your check-in stations. Whether you have a standard or deluxe version, or you're setting up a manned or self-check-in station, this video will take you through those steps. Let's get started. If you have the standard version of the software, or if you have the deluxe version and you're wanting to do a manual setup, the first thing that you need to do is click on your gear icon and go into the check-in settings. You'll need to have the check-in admin privilege to do this. If you're using the deluxe version, you'll need to click the edit setup link for the manual setup in order to get started. Otherwise, enter a password and put in a background image if you want. You can click the design guidelines link if you need help designing your background image. Click save when you are done. Use the bookmark link to gain quick access to the check-in setup page on your check-in station. Once you save the bookmark on your check-in station, open the bookmark and enter your password to get started. If you have the deluxe version of the software, you first need to decide if you are setting up a manned or self check-in station. Next, you need to add the event criteria. You can select as many attendance groupings, departments, or group types as needed. The system will search through all the criteria you add for events that meet this criteria. Next, add the date of the event. Be aware that you can put in past dates if you need to adjust any attendance in the system. Then, enter the service time. If you have the deluxe version of the software, you can enter additional service times as well. Decide whether or not you would like to print labels. If yes, you can default the count to either one or two child labels to print out. Only one parent label will print out. Use the name tag only option if you want the check-in system to print out names. This is a great option if using the check-in system for example, checking adults into an evening event that you want them to wear name tags for. The security code defaults to the recommended three character alphanumeric. If you have a pager system that is either a three or four digit number, you can use those options as well. Next, decide whether or not you would like to use text message paging. Please note, this option is currently only available for US churches. If your church uses a pager system, you can turn that on here in order to enter a pager number. The number will print out on the child label. The checkout option is a deluxe feature only and requires that all children be checked out using a barcode scanner. It is a great way of tracking when a child left and who picked them up if you need that level of accountability. Next, select the membership type for new families entered into the system. Finally, select whether or not to have report access from the screen and click start check-in. If you have the deluxe version of the software and you want to set up a self check-in station, click that at the top. You'll notice that almost all the options are the same except several options are removed at the bottom. The only new option is at the bottom where you can select whether or not the station being used has a touch screen. If you select yes, then the check-in system will display a keyboard on the screen for a user. Once you click the Start Check-in button, the system will show you a list of all the events that meet the requirements you entered. If you don't see an event on the list that should be there, check to make sure that event has the right event criteria and the right date and start time, as these are the most common reasons for an event to not be included. Click the Continue Check-in to start the new check-in system. If you have the deluxe version of the software, you can save these settings so that the bookmark enters them for you. To set this up, go back into the main site and click the gear icon and select Check-in. Click the Add a new setup button on the right. At the top, give your setup a name. Also, give it a password and an optional background image. You will see that the rest of the setup mimics what we covered earlier. Make your choices and click Save. From the overview, you will be able to see a list of the events that will qualify for check-in under the Included Events tab. Here again, if you don't see all the events you need, make sure to double check the event criteria and the date and start time of the event to make sure they match the saved setup. If you create a man station setup, don't forget to create another one for a self check-in setup. Once you have saved the setup, you can use the bookmark link just like above. 
save the bookmarks to your check-in stations, and you are ready to go. There you have it. Setting up the stations for check-in depends on your needs and your software version. With a deluxe package, you can take advantage of safe setups and multiple service times. For more information on check-in, see our other videos and help articles. Thank you.